Good evening, everyone. How are you? How are you doing? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Hello. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm fine. Thanks. Everything is very nice. Oh, it's good. Excellent. Yes. Welcome on board. How are you, Karen? I'm very good, teacher, and you? Yeah, fine. I'm a little tired, but I'm fine. Yes, healthy. <laughs> Me too, I'm very tired. <laughs> okay. How is the platform coming? Are you working hard on the platform? Yeah, yeah, I practice in the platform. Okay, excellent. Little by little, little by little. Um, we don't have to uh, be too confident that we have the vacation because in the, conf in the vacation, maybe something is going to happen and then we will not have finished, right? And we need 80% to graduate. So can we do it? Yes, we can do it, okay? We say, we can do it, okay? Of course. <laughs> we can do it. <laughs> of course, of course we can do it. Okay, I'm going yes. to share the screen so that we may begin. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to Take a look at this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good evening, everyone. Today is uh, July the 26th. It's Monday and it's July the 26th. And uh, this is the pre-intermediate number one. We're going to be working on daily schedules daily schools. And remember, English is great. English is great, okay? So in the agenda today, we have daily schedules, conversation, they are perfect for you. Demonstratives, demonstratives are this, that, those, these, okay? So sometimes they confuse, but I mean, they confuse us, but don't worry. We're going to master them tonight. Then uh, we're going to have conversation. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? Those four things, if we have time, I hope that we have time. The objectives is to discuss schedules and prices. Okay, so let's begin. What do you remember we studied in our last class? I remember a study about the job and the profession. Okay, we studied professions. Mm -hmm. What else? Something else that you remember that we studied? Read the different part of the the different sites and uh, place lugares to different places. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, that's right. At least that much. Yeah, we did. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, look at the picture. What do you think we're going to be discussing just by looking at the picture? What do you think is the topics going to be? They are studying. They are studying. They are studying. That is a possibility that they are studying. What is they are, they, they are meeting. They are in a meeting. Uh -huh. Maybe they are studying or they are in a meeting. Mm -hmm. That's another possibility. 
Okay. The purpose is to discuss daily routines. So, what time do you study? What time do you do homework? Or what time do you meet in the office? Mm -hmm. What time do you have lunch, right? This is a very nice dish that is square. What time do you eat lunch? And of course, what time do you, what? It's 10 p.m., 10 past 10. So what do you think the question is? What time do you go to bed? Right? To bed. What time do you go to bed? Okay. So let's begin with the first question. Olga, what time do you get up in the morning? Do you get uh, up? So, yes. Uh, I get up uh, sometimes 6.30. 6 and two, two days at five. At five o'clock. Uh. Okay, at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's good. Five o'clock. Okay. Nice. How about Karen? What time do you get up? I sometimes I get up at five thirty a.m. because I prepare the lunch to my husband. Mm -hmm. Your husband's lunch. Okay. Does your husband work at home? No, he's work at upside. He works out in our office. Ah, okay. So he has to leave home, right? Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. If he has to leave home, then of course he cannot uh, eat lunch at home. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. Let's see, Veronica. What time do you get up? I get up at 5.30 a.m. 5.30 a.m. Why do you get yes. up? Why do you get up so early? I repeat question, please. Why do you get up so early? Um... It's not late. Early is the opposite of late, right? I I don't uh, leather get out leather um, because um, I go to work um, far. Ah, oh, you work. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I depart to my house at uh, 6.30 a.m. You leave home at 6.30 a.m. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I understand. That's why you get up so early. Okay. Excellent. That's very good. And how about Gloria? What time do you go to bed, Gloria? No, what time do you get up in the morning? I get up at 5 a.m. in the morning. And why so early? Because I lie arrive early in my office. Oh, and what time do you start in the office? 7, 7 30 a.m. 7.30 a.m. Okay. So five, you get up at five, uh, you get ready in one hour. At six o'clock, you are ready. Then okay, yeah, you get to work early at seven o'clock. Okay, excellent, very good. Thank you, thank you very much. Now, let's see. Jennifer, good good evening. What time do you usually get up in the morning? Maybe you can connect the microphone. Okay. Uh -huh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. 
Eh, I get up at 4.30 a.m. 4.30 a.m. Yes. Or, I mean, uh, compared to the others, right now you are the earliest bird, okay? <laughs> Very good. Why do you get up so early? Because of traffic. Traffic is horrible. Yes. I guess so. I agree with you. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, Roberto, what about you? What time do you get up? Good evening, teacher. <laughs> Excuse me, the noise. Uh, Mariachi Loco is here. Can oh. you hear this? Yes, I can hear the mariachi out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a neighbor is. Uh -huh. Today is the is a, a birthday. So one. Yeah. Okay. So negrita de mis amores, huh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, teacher, I'm get up at eight eight o'clock a.m. every day. Every day. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Eight o'clock. So. When do you get up at eight o'clock? What time do you start work? I usually I start work at uh, nine nine a.m. Nine a.m. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. That's excellent. Very good. So you can relax for a little bit longer, right? Yeah, teacher. But I work late every night. Of course. Yeah. We stay until late. Um, after the class, do you continue working? Yes, until 1 a.m., 2 a.m., every day. Uh, okay, I understand. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for okay. sharing. Okay. Gladys, Idea Velar. <laughs> do you work at home? Yes. Yes, you work at home. Okay, so do you have a big lunch? Yeah. Big lunch? No. Do you eat a lot at lunchtime? Yes, uh, um, at lunch. Yes. At one. Or 1 p.m.? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you eat a big lunch? Big lunch? No. No. A small lunch? No. Small lunch. Ah, okay. That's good. Yeah. Why? If you are at home, you can eat a lot. Or you are on a diet? No. No. Not right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you for sharing, Gladys, okay? Let's see. Berrios Hernandez, uh, and I don't know the name. Ah, Marlene. <laughs> Marlene. Marlene. Hello, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Fine, thank you. Excellent. And you? I'm fine too. Everything is nice. Do you have a big lunch too? Uh, I don't know. Uh, is my lunch is uh, no no big no not small no uh -huh, small pequeño okay uh -huh. not not big not small okay it's mm -hmm. small okay excellent but do you enjoy it? Where do you usually eat lunch? Is um at home. vegetable, vegetales, vegetable? Vegetables, okay. Yes. Um but where? In your house? Yes. Ah, okay. Excellent. Yes. That's nice. Okay. So you are working from home too. Are you working from home? 
Eh, Not really. No. You have to go to work. Yes. Do you work far from your house? Mm. 45 uh, minutes, one hour from your home, two hours from your home. My teacher, más despacio, please. <laughs> one hour, two hours. Mm -hmm or only 45 minutes from your home. Do you work near your home? Yes. Ah, okay. Excellent. Near your home. Okay. Near your home. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Rolando, okay. hello. Okay. How are you, Rolando? Rolando Rigoberto. Hi, teacher. Uh, good, good evening. Good evening. Do you usually have a long day? Excuse me? Do you usually have a long day? I usually uh, chicken, chicken and rice. Oh, okay. I will repeat the question. Do you usually have a long day? Uh, what time do you go to bed? Oh. Bueno, le comprendo que, que es lo que almuerzo usualmente todo. Eh, no, no, no. The last question. What time do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed? Ah. Eh, uh, I... Eh, Um, at 10 p.m. At, 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 at 8 o'clock. At 8 p.m. So you, right now you are in bed. Or at 10 p.m. At 10, at 10 p.m. Yes. In, okay, excellent. So that's good. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Yes. How about, uh, let's see. Who else do we have? Carlos. I don't see the name. Okay. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Listo. Carlos Daniel, right? Yes. How are you, Carlos? I'm fine, teacher, and you? Excellent. Do you normally have a long day, Carlos? Um, well, no, no, I don't have a long day. Oh, you have a short day. What time do yeah. you go to bed? Uh, sorry, can you repeat? What time do you go to bed? I usually go to bed at 11 p.m. 11 p.m., oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, that's... Yeah, that's a long day. What time do you get up? Yes, at uh, five, five, five in the morning. Five o'clock in the morning. So yes. That's right. You get up at yes. five in the morning and go to bed at 11. Wow, it's a very long day. Very long day. Yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Okay, my dear ones, let's continue. Exercise one, the purpose is to discuss workplaces. Read the text and answer the questions. First, okay, 
uh, why were we asking about what time do you get up? What time do you go to bed? Because the topic is daily schedules. Daily schedules. Teacher, a schedule? Oh, the schedule is the timetable, okay? The organization of time, right? The organization of the activities that you do. So that is the schedule. Okay. So the purpose is to discuss schedules, workplaces, and so on. Check over here. Elmer Homero Colocho, right? Elmer Homero Colocho, no, you say Elmer Homero Colocho is a young man who lives in San Antonio, Texas. He works in a small grocery store. He usually gets up at 5 a.m. because he needs to be at the store at 7 a.m. So he usually takes a shower at 5.05. He leaves home at 5.45 a.m. It usually takes him about an hour to get to work. So he arrives barely on time. He works for 12 hours. He leaves work at 7 p.m. He takes the bus back home but it takes him only 45 minutes to get home because traffic is not so heavy at that time. He has dinner at 8 p.m. and spends some time with his son, Junior. He goes to bed at 10.30 p.m. In the picture, you can see Elmer and Junior, right? Okay, let's see. Volunteers to read the passage. Yes, Roberto. I have six people. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. The first one is Roberto. Would you please be okay, teacher? Yes. Thank you. Elmer Homero Colocho is a young man who lives in San Antonio, Texas. He works in a small grocery store. He usually gets up at 5 a.m. because he needs to be at the store at 7 a.m. So he usually takes a shower at 5 or 5 a.m. He leaves home at 5.45 a.m. It usually takes him an hour to get to work. So he arrives barely on time. He worked for 11, no, 12 hours. He leaves work at 7 p.m. He takes the bus back home, but it takes him only 45 minutes to get home because the traffic is not so heavy at that time. He has dinner at 8 p.m. and spends some time with his son, Junior. He goes to bed at 10.30 p.m. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now we have the next one is uh, Gladys. Gladys Aidea Velar. Yes. yes. Elmer Colocho. Elmer Romero Colocho is a young man who lives in San Antonio, Texas. He works in a small grocery store. He usually gets up at 5 a.m. because he needs to be at the store at 10 a.m. So he usually takes a shower at 5 or 5. He leaves home at 5 or 5 a.m. It usually Take him about an hour to get to work. So he arrived very much on time. He works for a 12 hours. He leaves work at 10 p.m. He takes the bus back home. Would it take him only? 
minutes to get on the bus. Traffic is not so heating at that time. Kids have dinner at 8 p.m. and spend some time with his son. In junior, mm -hmm. he goes to bed at 10.30 p.m. Okay, excellent, very good. Nice, Gladys, very good, good job. Thanks. Now, uh, Karen, would you please read? Karen. Uh, is your microphone connected? Oh, I'm sorry, teacher. Elmer Romero Colocho is a young man who lives in San Antonio, Texas. He works in a small grocery store. He usually gets up at 5 a.m. because he needs to be at the store at 7 a.m. So he usually takes a shower at five of five. He leaves home at 5.45 a.m. It usually takes him about an hour to get to work. So he arrives barely on time. He works for 12 hours. He leaves work at 7 p.m. He takes the bus back home but it takes take him only 45 minutes to get home because traffic is not so heavy at, at that time. He has dinner at 8 p.m. and spends some time with his son, Junior. He goes to bed at 10.30 p.m. Excellent, very good, good job. Thank you, Karen. Thank you very much. Now, Paola Maria Alvarado Cerón. Elmer Romero Colocho is a young man who lives in San Antonio, Texas. He works in a small grocery store. He usually gets up at 5 a.m. because he needs to bed at the store at 7 a.m. So he usually takes a shower at 5.05. He leaves home at 5.45 a.m. It usually takes him about an hour to get to work. So he arrives barely on time. He works for 12 hours. He leaves work at 7 p.m. He takes the bus back home, but it takes him only 45 minutes to get home because traffic is not so heavy at that time. He has dinner at 8 p.m. and spends some time with his son, Junior. He goes to bed at 10.30 p.m. Excellent, very good, congratulations. Thank you very much. That's nice. Now, Jamilet. Hello. Hello, good evening. Elmer Omero Colocho. Thank you. Elmer Omero Colocho is a young man who lives in San Antonio, Texas. He works in a small grocery store. He usually gets up at 7 a.m., perdón, 5 a.m., because he needs to be at the store at 7 a.m. So he usually takes a shower at 5.05. He leaves home at 5.45 a.m. Mm -hmm. It usually takes him about an hour to get to work, so he arrives early on time. He works for 12 hours. 
he leaves work at 7 p.m. He takes the bus back home, but it takes him only 45 minutes to get home because traffic is not so heavy at that time. He has dinner at 8 p.m. and spends some time with his son, Junior. He goes to the bed to bed at 10.30 p.m. Excellent, very good. Thank you very much. That's great, thanks. Okay, okay. now, Katherine Kangura. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Elmer Omero Colocho is a young man who lives in San Antonio, Texas. He works in a small grocery store he usually get up at 5 a.m. because he needs to be at the store at 7 a.m. So he usually take a shower at 5.05. He leaves home at 5.45 a.m. It usually takes him about an hour to get to work. So he arrives barely on time. He works for 12 hours. He leaves work at 7 p.m. He takes the bus back home but it takes him only four or five minutes to get home because traffic is not so heavy at that time. He has dinner at 8 p.m. and spends some time with his son, Junior. He goes to bed at 10.30 p.m. Excellent, very good. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Okay, hello. Okay. Elmer Romero Colocho, do, do you hear me? Are you hear me? I can hear you very well. Okay, yeah. okay. Elmer Romero Colocho is a young man who lives in San Antonio, Texas. He works in a small grocery store. He usually gets up at 5 a.m. because he needs to be at the store at 7 a.m. So he usually takes a shower at 5.05. He leaves home, he leaves home at 5.45. 45 a.m. It usually takes him about an hour to get to work. So he arrives barely and on time. He works for 12 hours. He leaves work at 7 p.m. He takes the bus back home, but it takes him only for, for 45 minutes to get home because traffic is not so heavy at that time. He has dinner at 8 p.m. and spends some time with his son, Junior. He goes to the bed at 10 30 p.m. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now, Carlos Daniel Cañas. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, Elmer Omero Colocho is a young man who lives in San Antonio, Texas. He works in a small grocery store. He usually gets up at 5 a.m. because he needs to be at the store at 7 a.m. So he usually takes a shower at 5 or 5 a.m. He lets, he lets home at 5.45 a.m. It usually takes him about an, an hour to get to work. So he arrives barely on time. He works for 12 hours. He leaves work at 7 p.m. He takes the bus back home, but it, but it takes him only 45 minutes to get home because traffic is not so heavy at time. At that time, he has dinner at 8 p.m and spend some time with his son, Junior. He goes to bed at 10.30 p.m. Okay, excellent, very good. Only leaves, right? He leaves work, he leaves home. Leaves, leaves home and leaves work. Okay, excellent, very good. Thank you very much. That was very nice. Now the last one, Katya Naya, right? Yes. Hello. Hello. Elmer Romero Colosio is a young man who lives in San Antonio, Texas. He works in a small grocery 
a store. He usually gets up at 5 a.m. because he needs to be at the store at 7 a.m. So he usually takes a shower at 5 or 5. He leaves home at 5 for 5 a.m. It usually takes him about an hour to get to work. So her arrives barely. Barely, on time. Barely on time. Barely, what? Barely, barely. Barely on time. He works for <coughs> 12 hours. No, I'm sorry. He <laughs> leaves work at 7 p.m. He, ta he takes the bus back home, but, but it takes him only 45 minutes to get home because traffic is not so heavy at that time. He has dinner at 8 p.m. and spends some time with his son, Junior. He goes to bed at 10, 30 p.m. <laughs> Excellent, that's great. Congratulations, thank you very much. Now let's move on. Now the questions, we have to complete here the times. Do you remember? the times, it says here, what does Elmer say? You remember? I normally get up at, what is five. it? 5 a.m. 5 a.m. At 5 a.m., right? At 5 a.m. I normally get up at 5 a.m. Now, number two, I always take a shower at? 5 o five. A.M. Yes. Number three. That's it say about breakfast? 12, 12. Mm, no, breakfast. No, no, no. No. Oh, no. 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 Eight. Yeah. Breakfast. No. He doesn't I, take, I, have I a breakfast. Didn't. Breakfast. He doesn't have. Uh, he doesn't take a breakfast. We don't maybe, know. Maybe six thirty a.m. Maybe <laughs> thirty a.m. Oh, could be. Okay. How about okay. Only pupusa. <laughs> One pupusa and that's it. Okay. I normally go to work at seven. Seven a.m. Five yeah. fifty fifty-five a.m. 5.55 a.m., right? 5.55 Okay. What about I'm normally at work? 12, 12 hours a day. I'm normally at work for 12 hours, or I'm normally at work at 7 a.m. Okay. Six. I always eat lunch at? 8 p.m. It doesn't say lunch, right? It doesn't mention lunch. The man? No. The man is a super. No. No. No, lunch. no. no. <laughs> okay. No mention lunch. No mention. Okay. okay. I usually finish work at? Seven. Seven o'clock. Seven, Seven, Seven p.m. Seven p.m. Seven p.m. I normally get home about? Now, I usually eat dinner at about 8 p.m. 8 8 8 8 8 and I usually go to bed at 10.30 10 10 Excellent. Now, this is Elmer. Now your turn. These sentences are about you. Okay. Sentence that you want to tell me, okay? Maybe you can tell me about two sentences that you select every time. Volunteers? Me, teacher. Yes, please. Sure. I, I get up at 5.30 a.m. I always take a shower at 8 o'clock or 7. 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now, somebody else, another volunteer, choose the sentences that you want. 
right now, only two sentences because of time. Okay. Yes, Veronica? Um, number three. Okay. Um, I usually have breakfast at um, um, 7.45 a.m. AM. Okay, excellent. Other sentence? Um, number four. Okay. I normally I normally go to work at um, 6 30, 30 a.m. 6 30 a.m. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. That's very nice. Now another person. Hey teacher. Go ahead. I normally head home about 5 p.m. I usually eat dinner at about 7 p.m. Excellent, very good, thank you very much. Now another person. Me teacher. Yes, please, go ahead. I always take a shower at 6 a.m. And I usually go to bed at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Catherine Canjura. Hello, teacher. Hello. I always take a shower at 5 a.m. and mm -hmm. I go to bed at 11 p.m. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now, Katya Naya. Okay, I normally get up at 6 a.m. and usually eat dinner at about 8 or 8 p.m. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now, other volunteers. Me, teacher. Yes, please. Go ahead. I usually have breakfast at 8 a.m. And I always eat lunch at noon. At noon, you eat lunch at noon. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Jennifer Noemi. Um, I normally go to work at um, 545. Mm -hmm. One more. Um, I usually eat dinner at about um, 7 p.m. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, Jamie, Jamie, no, Jamie Corpeño. <clears throat> Always take a shower at 5 a.m. Okay. I go to work at 6 a.m. I finish work at 3, 30 p.m. Excellent, thank you very much. Jamilet? I usually finish work at 4 p.m., 4 o'clock p.m., mm -hmm. and I usually go to bed at 11 p.m. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, that's great. Miladis Barahona? Okay. I normally get up at 6 a.m. and I always take a shower at when don't work uh, 10 a.m. But, uh, but when I, I work uh, at uh, 7, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Uh, yes. And I usually go to bed at 10 p.m. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Roberto, your turn, my friend. Okay, teacher. Um, normally, I normally get up at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. And um, I, al I, I, I always eat lunch at uh, 12.30 at noon. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. The last one, eh, Marlene, Berrios Hernández, Marlene. Okay, teacher, eh, I normally get up eh, home about is, is 
4 p.m. I normally get up at is 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. So now let's continue. We have that is talking about you can use this information to talk about the activities that you do. To simplify it, I only left the spaces for the times. Okay. I'm going to share this information with you uh, tomorrow or yeah, I don't think that tonight, but tomorrow, yes. Okay. Let's see, conversation. That's perfect for you. That's perfect, wow. That's perfect. The purpose is to describe objects. Now over here we say, oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones, mm, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay. I need volunteers to practice the conversation. One boy, one girl. <laughs> Maria, me teacher. Okay. Excellent, I have me ladies. Uh, and uh, boys. I say boy, boy, boys, but no boys, okay, so. Me teacher. Excellent. Me teacher. Me ladies is Maria. Carlos is Steve, okay. Let's begin. Okay. Oh, look at this, those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones, I am not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm. Yellow is not really a good color for me. Well, technical, uh, how? Necklace? Necklace, okay. Well, the necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42, that's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Very good. Now, Olga Cañas and uh, the boy. Uh, mm -hmm. We don't have a boy, so Olga Cañas and Karen Bernal. So, okay. Olga, okay. Okay. It's going to be, and Karen is going to be Maria. Okay. 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 Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. This is fun. I'm not sure. No, the yellow one. Oh, this mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much is it? It's 42. It's 42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get, get this for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Excellent. Thank you, Thank you very much. Now, uh, Marlene Guadalupe, Berrios, and Roberto Benito. Okay. okay, teacher. Okay, teacher, I'm star. Thanks. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones, I am not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow is really a good color for me. Well, that ne necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue on the right there. How much is 
eat forty two dollars. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. That's very good. Now, Veronica Alfaro and Elsa Natalia Aguilar. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow one. Oh, this. Mm, yellow is really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? How much is it? It's forty-two dollars. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. This is your birthday present. Happy birthday! Excellent. Thank you very much. So imagine how You're much welcome. how much is a necklace? Forty-two dollars, right? It's a little expensive. How much? Thank you very much. Continue. Now we have like uh, we're going to get to the demonstratives. Uh, over here, I want you to look at if we're talking about near near you near where you are, okay? We use this singular, this book, this car, okay? But if we're talking about something that is plural, but it's near you all the same, we say these, these, this, these. It's a little longer, right? These. Now, far, okay? Uh, maybe some distance from you, we use that to talk about only one, one thing. We use that to talk about two or more things. We use those, right? Those, so we have, that's my house. It's far, right? That's my house. Those are pine trees. Those are pine trees. They are far, those. That's my house. Those are pine trees. But then over here, this is my car. This is my car. It's near, right? I can touch it. I can touch the car and I say, this is my car. These are my books. These are my books. They are near too, but they are plural. One, two, three, four, five books. Okay, five books. This is my car. These are my books. Okay, to talk about something near, this, or these, to talk about something far, that, those. Examples, these books are mine. This is my house. That's my car. Those are pine trees. These boys are my friends. Those birds are beautiful. Again, these books are mine. This is my house. That's my car. Those are pine trees. These boys are my friends. Those birds are beautiful. Okay, let's see then. We're going to be asking about prices. Asking about prices. Okay, it says, ask about prices. Use demonstratives. The question is here, singular, how much is this book? How much is this tie? How much is this wallet? And you, you answer, it's, it's $12, it's $45, etc. How much is that blouse? How much is that blouse? How much is that blouse? Let's say it's uh, $12, okay? How much are these shoes? How much are these shoes? How much are these pants? How much are these jeans? And you answer, they're 
$50, they're $60. How much are those shoes? Those shoes. We are pointing and we say, how much are those shoes? They are $100. Okay, let's look at the conversation. Say like, uh, first, blouse and near, right? Near, far. Blouse, white, $12, red, $15. Okay, so we say like this. How much is that blouse? Which one? The white one, it's $12. And the red one, it's $15. I'll take the white one. Okay, that will be $12. Okay, teacher, why one? What's the meaning of one here? One means, if you say the blue one, la azul, la roja, okay? La verde, whatever, the green one, the blue one, the white one, the brown one, okay? That is a specific. So the white one, the red one, the blue one, the black one, the black one, okay, these are shoes, right? What happens if we're talking about, no, these are socks. In jeans, the blue ones. Why ones? Because it's plural. Teacher, but one is only one, and then why two, three, four? No, this is a pronoun. Like you say, el azul, you say los azules, right? The blue ones, the blue ones, the black ones. The blue ones, the black ones. Or about the socks, the blue ones, the black ones. Talking about the socks. Now let's see a, an example of another conversation. How much are those jeans? Which ones, the blue ones or the black ones? Uh, the blue ones, they are $50. And the black ones, they are $60. Oh, I'll, I'll take the blue ones. That will be $50, okay? Or for the other conversation, how much is that jacket? Which one, the black one or the brown one? The black one, it's $100 and the brown one, it's $150, or oh, I'll take the black one. Okay, that will be $100. They say, how much are those socks? Which ones? Oh, these socks, because it's near. How much are these socks? Which ones? The blue ones or the black ones? The blue ones, oh, they are $3. And the black ones, they are $4. Uh, okay, I'll take the blue ones. That will be, okay, that will be $3. Okay, so the conversations are going to be like that. Now another example, and then we're going to practice. How much are those shoes? Which ones? The black ones, they are $100. And the brown ones, they are $125. I'll take the brown ones. Okay, that will be $125. Okay, very good. Now, I need volunteers for the first conversation. Conversation A, two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay. Me, teacher. Thank you, Roberto, right? Yes. Roberto and uh, there was an, okay. Me, teacher. Yes. Me is Veronica. Okay, Veronica and Roberto. Veronica is going to be A. Veronica is going to be A. And yes, Roberto. Yes, yes. Okay, begin. Okay. 
um, letter B, letter A. How much are those shoes? Oh, we're going to do this one, letter A. Uh, okay, excuse me. Uh, how much this blows? Mm -hmm. How much is this, is this blouse? Which one? Uh, um, why, why? The white one, the white. The one. white black ones. Uh, it is uh, $12. And the red ones? And the red one? It's uh, $15. Okay. Okay. Um, and, and the... And the... Uh, I'll take the... Choose the white or the red. I lost teacher. <laughs> Don't worry. Select, uh, select one. I'll take yes. I'll take the white one. I'll take the red one. I don't know. You decide. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, excuse me. Um, I take the white um take I the white take the white ones. Okay. I, I lost. Okay. <laughs> that will be um, $12. Okay, excellent. That will be, the, okay. When you say I'll take the brown one, means me llevo, los, me llevo los cafés, right? I'll take the brown ones. When you say I'll take the white one, me llevo la blanca. Uh, me llevo la blanca. Okay, and, okay. and then you, you say that will be, and it's the price of the white, because you say, I'll take the white one. So you say, oh, oh that will be $12. Mm -hmm. $12, okay. Yes. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Now, eh, Veronica Alfaro, you, one of you, right? You were Veronica Alfaro. Uh, uh, again? Teacher? No, you were Veronica Alfaro, right? Usted era Veronica. Yes. Okay. Now Karen Bernal. Karen Bernal is going to be B. Uh, it's going to begin. It's going to be A. And uh, let me see. I need another volunteer. Me, teacher. Oh. Me, teacher. Who is me? Gloria Castellanos. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Gloria. You are B. Okay, Karen begins and you can. Okay, letter E. Letter B. Mm -hmm. No, no, letter C. C. B. C, A, B, C. <laughs> letter C. <laughs> I, it's okay, no problem. <laughs> okay. okay, how much, how much, how much is that that jacket? Which one? Uh, the the black the black ones. The black one. It, it's one hundred. And the and the black ones. One hundred one hundred fifty dollar. Uh, I'll take the the black ones. The black one. I'll take the okay. black. Okay. Okay. That will be one hundred dollar. Okay. Very good. That's great. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Now, I need two other volunteers for uh, another conversation. What we say, like me, teacher. Yes, please. I need one in plural. So let it be. <laughs> Let it be. Okay. So I said me. Who is me? Me teacher Marlene. Okay, Marlene. Excellent. So Marlene, you begin. Another volunteer. Can be a boy, can be a girl. So you decide. Me teacher. I heard two me's. So who? Tell me the name. 
Carlos. Okay. okay, excellent. Carlos and Marlene. It's going to okay, be letter B. Uh, How many? Excuse me. Let's begin, please begin. How many jeans? How much? How much are? Oh, there? perdón. Es que no, no, no lo veo muy bien. How okay. much? Uh -huh. How much? Are those jeans? Mm -hmm. Which ones? They, they blue ones. The blue ones are fifty dollars. And the black ones? The black ones are uh, sixty dollars. I'll take the blue blue ones. The blue ones? Mm -hmm. Blue okay, ones. So I, okay, that will be fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. That's it. That's the conversation. Okay. Another pair. Another pair. Okay, no more pairs. Maybe. Okay, we're going to stop here because of time. Time has finished for us. It's three and I have another class, but okay. I invite you to continue practicing uh, these dialogues in your house. Tomorrow I'm going to send you the information so that you may practice, okay? So tonight okay. I have to say goodbye right now because of the other class. Okay, so thank, ladies, you, thank you very much for your time. See you tomorrow. See you thank tomorrow. you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.